Hey yo, injector check. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, what's good? Before I turbo the Miata, I'm gonna swap out the injectors because supposedly these the stock injectors max out at like 150 horsepower or something like that. So I got these, they're like 230 cc's. So I got these 640 cc's injectors. I already have the Mega Squirt installed so I can compensate for the air fuel ratios on Tuner Studios. This should be pretty quick if everything goes well. It has the plug and play harnesses for the injectors so I don't need a saw or anything. And it comes with the lube. Then all the good stuff, O-rings, the spacers. Let's get to it, boys. First things first, let me pull the this relay here, the fuel injection relay. And then let me crank the car so there's no fuel in the line. So when I go to disconnect the lines, I don't get fuel squirted onto me. Crank it some more. All right, that should be good, good enough. And then I'm gonna mark the fuel feed and fuel return line just to distinguish one from the other. I don't know which one's which, but I'm gonna mark this one goes to this one and the other one's not marked. rubbed off the marking so I'm gonna just tape them. That's that one. And this is these ones. Now just remove the PVC hose that's in the way. Damn this thing's dry rotted. Here I'm actually moving it from the intake side so I don't break the plastic nipple on the PVC. There it is, out of the way. Now I gotta disconnect the, the IAC here, which is, I don't know what, like a seven. Loosen this to get out of the way to access the fuel rail. probably never been taken out. Look how clean the bolts are. They look brand new still. These here are two coolant lines by the way so I don't want to disconnect them and have to bleed the coolant. Now I can take out the um, vacuum line that goes to the fuel pressure regulator. I kind of have these on real tight because I teed off it to go to the uh, boost gauge. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect all the connectors on the injectors. Ah, oh, that broke. They're so crunchy. These injectors probably have never seen daylight. <laughs> oh, I should be able to remove the fuel line by just unbolting these two bolts here, which look like they're 12s. There is some plastic spacers that I don't want to lose in the engine bay. So let me grab those now. It's these here in between the uh, the head and the fuel rail. These plastic pieces. If I drop these, they're going to be lost forever. Where am I? And then the fuel rail should come out. Spilling a bit of fuel. And here it is. These injectors don't look too shabby. Nice. Anyways, so I'm gonna just remove them and install the higher flowing ones. So here I have the injectors all assembled and lubed up, ready to get installed on the fuel rail. So here's the old ones, and then here are the new ones. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop these in now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the uh, ceiling surface of the injectors, cause there's like, a bunch of dirt and stuff so I'm gonna clean those. I'm a dirty dirty girl. So there's no leaks.
I actually ended up putting the injectors in first with their harnesses just because it seemed like it would be a little easier. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly put the fuel rail in now. Whoops. slid in now I'm gonna put the plastic washers with our aluminum washer that the kit provided and there it is let me plug these vacuums in before I forget Tighten these to Lonzi spec, so make sure they're loose. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the fuel lines. Or actually this, I guess, the PVC hose. Do I even need this, bruh? Yeah, I do. There it is. Now let me connect the fuel lines. So I already had taped it previously, as you guys saw. Not sure which is a feed and which is a return. So I'm just putting the clamps on right now. And now I'm gonna connect the relay. Now I'm gonna prime the car. So the car obviously is not gonna start because it's not tuned for these high flowing injectors. I'm gonna have to, oh shoot. <laughs> I almost forgot the uh, IAC valve here. Let me put that on real quick. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prime the car and then see if we have any fuel leaks or anything. Now that I bolted, finally bolted up the IAC. And then I did tighten the gas cap already. Let's see. Okay, should be priming right now. And it doesn't look like there's any leaks. There's something shiny down there, but I think that's the grease. The assembly lube that I used. Yeah. Yep, they're all dry. Good. So I know the car won't start. Because, well, it might, but it's probably going to run super rich. <laughs> so for just for the hell of it, I'm going to crank it for you guys. I'll have to get into the ECU and then tune it and all. And then I'll have to retune it to get the car running okay again. Yeah, it's, it, it turned on, but you can hear it's like super rough. Look how rich it is. It's as rich as it could get. All right, I'm gonna turn it off. That's just bad. It's kind of choking up, but there you go. New injectors are in. Let me just check again and see if, uh, make sure there's no leaks. Yep, no leaks. All right, and so, Hopefully I'll get to the turbo sometime soon now that the minor annoying things are done. Oh shit, look at the amount of fuel that's smoking out of this pipe. Eh. Can you guys see it? Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tune this thing for sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you guys are excited to see the Miata getting turboed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace! Peace!